So if you're already wearing purple, thank you. And if you're not yet, you should sport that purple. Um, so Purple Day happens on the 26th of March every year and it basically acknowledges people like me who have epilepsy. Um, I have what is called temporal lobe epilepsy and so I have what the doctor calls baby seizures um, and so I do not have onset adult seizures um, but all my seizures start in my tummy area and for the most part I do have the partial focal seizures and I do have staring seizures um, I don't remember much while I'm having those, but, um, I do have the auras, so, like, I, I will taste, um, metal <laughs> and smell fingernail polish before. It's just awful. Auras are awful, anyway, and so, I, seizures can make you feel nauseous. That's in my case. Um, usually I do not have the grandma seizures, although I have had about probably six or so in my lifetime. So, I mean, I haven't had as many of those, but they have happened. Um, you know, I do have a few different medical conditions, um, but epilepsy is one that hits home with our family mostly, um, just because it's, it is one of those um, conditions that is hard sometimes. Um, you know, I can, I still live a normal life, um, so not every seizure I have is a 911 call or a hospital visit. Back in 2017, I had status epilepticus. You know, I already had seizures, but they just went out of control. We don't know why, but they did test after test, and I was under the care of the best epilepsy team, and I still am. Um, but I have the best pediatric neurologists. Um, and so I was put on daily treatment. I had emergency treatment back then, but now I have both. Um, so I am, I do take treatment throughout the day for my seizures and have, we have emergency medication if needed. Um, and it does help. So my, some people are on treatment and they never have a seizure, which is awesome. I mean, sometimes you might have breakthroughs that's just part of epilepsy or some people may never. Um, for my case though, it does stop my seizures, but it doesn't mean that I will never have one. Um, so my my treatment controls my epilepsy. It doesn't take it away. It doesn't. There's no guarantee like you'll never have a seizure again. We when I first started daily treatment, we would count the months, and then you know we got up to like three months, and then I'd have a seizure, and and I kind of you know I did that for a while. I was like, well maybe if I go six months or a year, I can say I've gone this long without a seizure on treatment. Um, but what I learned, and, and for everyone this won't be the case, but for me what I learned is I would do that and then something would happen, I would have a seizure, and then it would just make me feel like, well, I can't do that again. It kind of got old after a while and I didn't want to do that anymore. Um, but if that's not you and you're able to do that, that is awesome. I mean, I'm literally happy for you. So, um, for me though, I'm genuinely okay. Um, I'm just thankful that I'm here. We've had a few seizures even, so, um, I won't go into detail right now. Um, there's been some videos on this, but, uh, January 5th of 2023, I had a grand mal seizure where I, um, almost didn't make it. We're just gonna leave it at that. Um, I wasn't breathing and so yeah as epilepsy's always hit huge with us it, it really does now when you're a family and your parents see you go through something like that it, it's hard you guys it's now but let me reassure you i do live a happy normal life like i'm able to do things i want to do sure there's certain limitations that i have to be careful with um because of my epilepsy um you know like lights and stuff and um just if I'm not feeling well, like most of my seizures happen if I have a fever or if I have a cold or if I'm not feeling good, um, if I'm sick with anything, I'm probably gonna have a seizure and that's normal for us. It's not like, oh my goodness, what's going on? That's always been the case. It's never changed. Um, sometimes I will have a breakthrough. It doesn't happen very often, but it, it can. So we don't say, oh, she'll never have one. We just say, oh, if it does, it's either a breakthrough or I'm not feeling good. The only time we'd ever have a hospital visit is if, uh, goodness, if treatment didn't work or if, um, if I 
had prolonged seizures again, which thankfully I'm not, and the prayer is that I never do. Um, but yeah, so I, um, I do have temporal lobe epilepsy. I have myoclonic seizures, which is seizures upon waking up. So waking up from in the morning or waking up from a nap, it can happen. Um, I do have treatment that can stop it if it doesn't stop on its own. Um, you know, and so I just, I could sit here and be like, well, dang, I have epilepsy. Like, you know, it's so upsetting. And while epilepsy itself is not happy, I find the milestones that I am able to um, do with epilepsy. <clears throat> it's been hard. Um, there's been a lot of things before I was on treatment that I was really certainly not able to do as well. Playing violin is one of those things. My memory is another. I could play violin, like I played for years, but I had to stop because my body kept getting so stiff. I kept hurting, I was having seizures, I couldn't stand up and play. I had to sit in my walker on stage. Like it was just not enjoyable. And when the, what I learned with my pediatric neurologist is when, when this is affecting your daily activities is when we need to interact like immediately. That's what was happening um, years ago. So thankfully now, it took, and so after the seizure, so after the seizure I had last year, it really took about six months for my body to, uh, for me to become strong again. Like I was slowly, but um, I mean, I was using my wheelchair in the house for a little bit. I, I was, um, it, it was hard. And then I wanted to pick up my violin and play, but I would try and I just, it was really hard to stand and hold my violin and play. Um, but now, a year and a half later, well, actually, this is our, this, I, I'm sorry, but I'm not. It's a God thing. You know, when, when, when you're a believer, you, you just, you know, it's a God thing. Um, I wanted to start lessons again, violin this year, like consistently. And my teacher, I've known her for years, but like, I just couldn't play on and off for years. Um, like I said, and so I was like, you know what, I want to do this again. Because I was afraid. What I was afraid, I was afraid that I was going to play, start playing, and then, and then you know, maybe get sick again. I don't fear that every day, but sometimes it's hard when, when you've seen what's happened in the past and you don't want that to happen again. Because you don't control epilepsy. Epilepsy controls you. So basically, I, um, I just felt like I... I wanted it to be consistent and I wanted to make everyone around me proud, but I wanted to be proud of myself and I just want to play my, 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 my violin. Like I love music. I love singing. I love dancing. I love playing violin. I love playing piano. I just, I, you know, I love doing all that. And so I wanted to be able to learn. I wanted to be able to grow and advance. And so I was just praying and I reached out and of course she said yes. And I was very happy, but I was just nervous so nervous because I was like, I hope that I can, you know, hold the violin long enough. I hope I can stand up uh, long enough in my lessons. Um, and mo for the most part, I can. I mean, sometimes I'll sit down if I need to, or I'll always have like a chair behind me because I just have to. But regardless, I'm now in book five and I'm excited. And I'm now using a shoulder rest. So I'm like a grown up violin player. <laughs> but um, I love playing it. And so, Remember when I said January 5th of 2023, I had a seizure that almost took my life. And that is that is really what happened. My mom was here to see it. Uh, and so guess when this was not my choosing. Um, the way that the schedule worked out, I was texting my violin instructor. We were texting back and forth. And she was like, hey, can you start Friday, January 5th? And I was like, sure. And then I looked on the calendar and I was like, so last year, January 5th, I was uh, struggling, and this year I get to do something I love to do and have always loved to do. So I don't know what to tell you, but that is a God thing. Anyways, so that's just a little bit of, that's a lot about epilepsy, but that's why wearing purple and everything is just so important to us. And that's why we celebrate Epilepsy Day. Not We're not celebrating seizures, we're celebrating milestones and what the Lord is doing and what the Lord has done. So Hats off to you if you have epilepsy or you know someone who has epilepsy. There are several different types and I'm thankful that I'm here to tell this story. So get ready for Purple Day and happy Purple Day.
to everyone out there and thanks for watching and see you next time.